Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. Um, please take what resonates and leave what, does is, with, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. And also keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So just because this is a message that's coming through on the day of Wednesday, July 31st, it doesn't have to resonate for that day. Whenever you watch this reading, moving on beyond the 31st of July, 2019, and the message resonates with you at that time, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes. Um, one thing I want to say today, I am definitely going to be catching up on emails. Um, just so you guys know, I don't, I don't answer emails. I don't really do readings or like business or whatnot over the weekends because I like to like Saturday and Sunday because number one, I work, I, I work, uh, uh, I work brunch Sundays, but also I'd like to take the weekend just to, you know, to chill and disconnect from the collective and readings and whatnot. But I, uh, so I have to have some catch up to do. <laughs> um, I, I didn't, yesterday was uh, a last minute switch on our beach day because today is going to be stormy and rainy. So going to the beach today, which was our normal day, was not ideal. Um, so we went yesterday and I just did not, I didn't handle any of it. So I'm going to do it today. Um, speaking of today, today is the 31st of July. We do have a black moon tonight, which is um, the second new moon of the month of July, which is f cool. Um, it's also a super moon, yes? So I was reading a post <clears throat> uh, by Alex Miles this morning, and I believe I'm going to repost it because it's really informative, but it was saying how between the 30th of July and the 1st of August, there are going to be some things you might experience or really vivid dreams. Y'all, let me tell you, I had some dreams last night that were insanely vivid. They were surrounded by fear, um, personal fears. Like there were situations in which um, I was trying to move somewhere, go somewhere, and I had to walk either on a ladder that was no longer di was no longer connected, like at the top, like it was connected at the bottom, it was secure at the bottom, but at the top it was not secure. And so I would climb the ladder, and then it was a metal ladder. I would climb the ladder, and then the weight of my body <coughs> would pull the ladder would pull me down and pull the ladder down and so I would like be falling backwards. Now it wasn't like, it wasn't like I was falling fast, but it was like, it was this really scary situation. Um, there was one point where I was trying to move, go somewhere and I was walking on these ledges on like the side of a building and this one part of the ledge, like this, this tiny little pathway, it wasn't even a pathway, it was just like a ledge basically. But this one section of it was like, um, almost made of plastic or was like flimsy and like whenever I would like put my weight on it or something it would just collapse and whatnot and there was some dude sitting there nonchalantly almost like looking like he was reading a paper and I was trying to explain to him like hey how am I supposed to do this and like what I can't I can't walk on that and he was just completely ignoring me it was the weirdest thing ever and then there was one part of the dream where I was in this, I had like walked into this room and there was all of this stuff being, all of these images and stuff being projected onto the walls of this room. Very American Horror Story style. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. That part of the dream was straight up something out of American Horror Story. Like, whoa, you guys. Um, and I can't even say like, okay, fear of falling, fear of heights, okay? But I can't really even say w exactly what those fears were pinpointing within me, but damn y'all, that was some freaky ass shit. So if you're, if you're experiencing vivid dreams too, that the, the it's, it's because of the, um, the meteor, I believe it's the meteor showers was that section. I'm gonna repost that post. So check out Instagram. Um, if you don't, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and please do that at divine underscore conversations. You can also find the, find the link in the description box. All right. But let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. So as I was channeling, you know, the energies for the collective, I was seeing, oh, and also please excuse me, but my allergies are 
being kicked up this morning or flaring this morning. So I'm probably gonna have to blow my nose or sniffle every once in a while, whatnot, whatever. What is that on my bed? Oh, it's nothing. Okay, never, <laughs> never mind. Um, as I was channeling the energies for the collective, the first color that I saw, the first thing that I saw was yellow. And that was that was like immediate, and it was really strong. Yellow is is speaking um, about speaking towards illumination here. Okay. Um, and then as, as I was going a little deeper, it started to turn green, and and I think there was a little bit of blue in there. But so then I was doing the pre-shuffle, and I was just asking just for some pre-shuffle energies for the collective, and the five of pentacles came flying out, and it's in reverse. All right, there is an energy of now this side of the card um, is you know it looks like he's someone who's homeless. Um, or it's just lacking, it needs help, whatnot, whatever. Okay, so that's, this is the, this side of the card is the lack mentality side of the card. And then this side of the card is, this person is actually inside, whereas this side, they're outside. In this, on this side, they're inside the church, and yet they're still in agony, all right? But it's this card, that this side of the card that we have, and it came out in reverse. So there is a rejection of some sort of lack mentality here. Someone is coming out of that, especially with the five of wands energy. It, um, there's a there's a strong defensiveness here. You have the queen of swords. Someone has realized something. And then on the back of the deck here, you have the high priestess in reverse. But it's the back side of the card in which you have the keys to something. You've been um, let in on something. Now, well, you've been you've been let into the the high priestess has let you, has let you cross past the veil or the the doorway that she's guarding and here you know on this side of the card you have two keys right which to me are keys of knowledge um they could even be seen please excuse the manicure you guys i have to redo my nails but um they could even be seen as divine wisdom from the masculine or feminine side because of the colors gold and silver um so this actually this could mean two things and well one of many things to be quite honest it could be really mean anything but what i'm picking up here either something has been revealed to you um knowledge has been revealed or something like that or the strongest thing that i'm hearing is there's a rejection of some sort of clarity some sort of truth uh, maybe some sort of honesty or something like that so, and that kind of uh, you know that concerns me a little bit Especially with this Queen of Swords energy and the Five of Pentacles. Well, no, no, not the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Um, the Queen of Swords is... She's a tough cookie. Okay. She's... She's a little closer, more a little more similar to the energies of the Knight of Swords in Shoot First, Ask Questions Later. Although, she's not as trigger happy as the Knight of Swords. And definitely the King of Swords is way more diplomatic and is way more willing to like hear everything out. The Queen isn't, all right? She's quick to judge. Um, now, the good thing is she's upright, okay? So I really feel like this is a defensive stance. This is a defensive position. Either you could be going up against someone who is rejecting some sort of universal knowledge here, or with this high priestess in reverse, <clears throat> or you are on the defensive. Ah, uh, you're on the, you, you could be on the defensive with this queen of swords energy against some universal knowledge or some deep truths. So I keep hearing some tea has been spilled. <laughs> um, excuse me, Flat, excuse the sniffling, but, uh, Huh. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I also just heard, take it with a grain of salt. Some of you may be on the defensive. And you might need to just relax a little bit. Like, maybe not be so aggressive. I'm getting a good amount of aggressive energy from this Queen of Swords, but it's not like you're trying to fight anybody. It's more an energy of, if anyone steps to you, they better be real careful. They better be real careful, because you're not be, you're not having it. You're not taking any sort of shit. You're not taking any sort of flack. You're not about to allow yourself to remain out in the cold like this, the way you may have been. 
and thus here comes that five of wands energy that the conflict granted granted and 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 thankfully so it's not the five of swords and yet we still have the queen of swords all right so not all is hunky dory like this five of wands energy could quickly erupt could quickly erupt and god help anyone that gets on the wrong side of the queen of swords let me tell you <laughs> okay all right yeah, some sort of truth has been spilled. That's what I'm hearing. Some sort of truth has been spilled. Something has been revealed. And it's the person that used to be in this Five of Pentacles energy, feeling left out in the cold, that is now in this Queen of Swords energy. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, someone refuses to be out in the cold any longer. And if you try to put me out there, I will cut you to pieces, says the Queen of Swords. Excellent. Now, here's the thing, guys. Keep in mind that no one, no one can really, in essence, leave you out in the cold other than yourself. Because you will always have yourself, okay? Regardless of whomever rejects you, whatever someone says about you, to you, whatnot, whatever, like, whatever. That's just, that's their problem. That's not yours. The only person that can really leave yourself out in the cold is you. Because you always have the ability to make choices for yourself, take steps, and, and do things for yourself in order to honor your desires, your wishes, to honor yourself, okay? All right. Seven of Pentacles wanted to pop out. Okay, for some of you, some of this is kind of a bed you've made for yourself. Um, in a way, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how, re I really hope that, I'm not trying to offend or trigger anyone, but I, I, the Seven of Pentacles energy was definitely giving me a, a, an energy of, wow, I've, kind of made my bed now I have to lay in it and it really is a situation in which you got in oh look there's that king of swords now um you got involved with some people or in a situation that yeah was that was not honest was not honest because now we have the king of swords which is in reverse was authoritative sure this feels like a group it does. This feels like maybe a job or like a social group or just like a group of people, something like that. But there was some sort of authority. It felt it feels like you looked up to this, these individuals or this group of people or something like that, but they weren't that honest. And it might have been something that you could have been able to see either from the beginning or very quickly, but there was you didn't want to believe it in a sense. You went along for the ride anyway. But now you've, well, now you've woken up, now you've wised up in some way, somehow. Okay, wow, I don't know where that, was, where that came from or where it was going, but okay, we're gonna leave that there. Mm. And we're gonna get to the actual reading for the day. The rest of your messages for the day. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to shuffle this five times and then we will see what we've got for Wednesday, July 31st, 2019 for the collective best messages spirit. Please keep in mind guys that this reading is not sign or love or career or anything specific. This is literally just what spirit wants to discuss with us today okay all right two more shuffles here 
for Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. Last one for the collective, Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. All right, kids, here we go. Best messages, please, spirit. For the collective, Wednesday, July 31st. 2019, Wednesday, July 31st, is that all? That's it. All right. All right. All right. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You've got the judgment in reverse here. But it's the side of the card in which the angel is appearing to the in front of the people. I, what I really feel like is happening here for some of you, you're going through, this is a wake up call. You're going through a bit of a judgment phase. Um, and I do kind of feel like the angel is right in front of you, but there's fear here. You're almost rejecting it. Um, you have the three of swords with the five of cups, both are upright. And then you have the sun and the fool and both are reversed. Okay. Uh, this I'm actually seeing this quite clearly, but hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I need to blow my <laughs> I need to blow my nose really quick. Give me a second. Um, just give me. Well, well, as I'm doing this, I'll talk. Well, hold on. No. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. Just, just, just bear with me for one moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. My allergies are are like are hitting me to get today. Thank you so much to anyone that would you know send any sort of remedies, but I'm really not. I, I'm really not going to do them. <laughs> I'm not going to do them. It's something that's just going to pass. It's not a big deal. It's just it, it happens every once in a while. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to do my best to not sniffle in your ear though. I, I do understand how gross that could be. Oh, I don't. I didn't even turn my light on. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Eric. All right. So here's the deal. Someone feels confined. Um, I do feel like you're within between a, a rock and a hard place. And this does kind of feel like an extension of what we were talking about in the beginning of the reading here in your pre-shuffle. Um, there is a realization coming. There is a new start coming. There is a leap of faith that, that is going to need to be taken at some point, And someone is feeling that. But this is why you're on the defensive, okay? This is why that Queen of Swords energy, yeah. This is why that Queen of Swords energy was here. Um, and the High Priestess was in reverse, where like you're being handed the keys to something. You've, being, you've been in, let in on some sort of secret. You have the, some sort of knowledge has been given to you. You're, you've come to some sort of awareness. Um, and yet you're rejecting it in some way for whatever reason. You might not want to see it. You might not want to understand. You might not want to change your perspective here. But with judgment, you're going to have to. Again, this is a wake-up call. You have the Three of Swords, which is the side of the card where the heart, the, the heart is being pierced. Okay? So you're right smack dab in the middle of this heartbreak. And then you have the Five of Cups. But it's the side of the card in which... Wow, I just realized that because it's the side of the card in which the rose is growing, but on the three of swords, you have the rose that has been trampled. And this is from, this is, this is literally what I heard was from, from death to rebirth. Okay. So you're kind of all up in your emotions right now about this whole situation. You might feel deceived, you might feel betrayed, you might be, feel this way from this group of people, this organization, or you might feel this way from the universe. But to be quite honest, if the universe let you, led you here, then this is a lesson that, that is really important. Okay, the universe is not going to dupe you. The universe is not going to, even though it might seem that way on the surface. And trust me, guys, I've been there, especially throughout the whole twin flame situation when I was in the heat, the, like the middle of all that energy. I can't even begin to tell you how duped I felt, okay? And there were so many moments where I questioned my sanity, yes, but I questioned my validity. There were moments where I was like, holy shit, I'm a complete fraud. Like, I, what the hell am I doing, blah, blah, no. 
No, it was all just a lesson. It was all just a part of the purging process. It was all just part of the healing, the deep healing that I needed to go through in order to be any closer towards the, uh, a more whole and best version of myself than I had ever been, right? Well, that's what you're going through here, okay? You have the sun in reverse with the fool in reverse as well. The fool in reverse here is definitely saying there is a need to, there is a need, there is a, a leap of faith that needs to be taken. And I heard just get started, okay? But there is rejection of this leap of faith. And you have the sun. Now it's this side of the card in which you are behind these walls here, okay? Some of you feel, now, I don't, I, I did read this in the book, but I don't quite remember what it said, but it's something along the lines of, yes, you might feel like you're walled in, but sometimes these walls are, I guess I'm just getting this intuitively, but it's also from a little bit of what I remember. Sometimes these walls can be actually the greatest protection, even though you may not want to be behind them. Sometimes these walls are protective. Okay, the sun ultimately regardless, will rise again, okay? And you might find that it's not all that bad. It's not as bad as you might think. But it's here in reverse. So this is almost like a doomsday energy. Whatever confinement you feel like, and this also could be a situation in which, like, for a kid um, who really wants to go out and do something, like all of your friends are really are going out and doing something that you think is really cool, but your mom is like, hell no, you must be crazy to think I'm going to let you go do that. But you're like, oh, mom, come on, all the guys are doing it, or all the girls are doing it, all my friends are doing it. Uh, and if all your friends are jumping off a, off a bridge, are you going to follow suit? Mom, Shh, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. But see, it might be for your protection. I mean, it literally could be a situation like that for you, or that's just symbolic. You know what I mean? Now, the other thing that I want to say, I do... <laughs> That's so funny. I do kind of feel like, especially with this judgment energy, I do feel like you're standing in front of the universe or in front of the angels. Like, come on, guys. This this can't be fun. This can't be real. Like, I don't want to go in this direction, mm, but you have to. Or this, you're you you guys are lying to me. This can't be the truth. It's almost as if you're the the angel here is that mother that's saying, no, you can't do that. Your friends are are nuts. <laughs> and you're standing there like, come on, this, no, come on, just five more minutes, no. Time is up. Time is up. And there's heartbreak, and there's loss, and there's guilt, there's a, a little bit of shame, maybe, um, but it's mostly mourning, right? Your heart is broken, you're like, the illusion is broken. But from death, with the road, the trampled rose here, comes rebirth. All right. So I really do feel like you just have to get through this emotional period. That's the biggest thing that I'm feeling here. You just have to get through it through this emotional period. You have to get through the emotions. You have to get through the shock. That's really all there is to it right now. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cross over into the clarification section now using the Tarot Illuminati by Ciro Marchetti. Oh, and I did ask if um, anybody knew how to get that the, the gold gilded version of this deck. I think someone might have emailed it to me. If you did, thank you. Um, I'm going to, again, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to catch up on emails today, I promise. Um, and it's so funny because I was working Monday night and someone said how, you know, they were they were two days behind on emails. Like someone that was sitting at a table was... <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, so am I. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. I'm going to get, I promise I'm going to get to it today. But anyway, 
Let's get some clarification. Um, but if anybody has any information about how to get this deck, I did find it on one spot, but they were gonna charge like $10 in shipping, which is fine, I'll pay it, but if there's a better way to get it, I would be grateful for anyone that has that information. And, and like I said, if you've already sent it, thank you so much, I'll, I'll, I'll find it when I go <laughs> through my emails today. All right, so I wanna split this up. We're gonna look at this in two different sections. We're gonna look at the, all this current emotional energy that you're experiencing right now in terms of this situation. You do have the Page of Swords underneath the deck so far. Um, and I'm hearing reasoning. It's almost as if you're trying to reason with the universe in some cases. He, he, you're trying. <laughs> it's like you're trying to um, <laughs> negotiate with the universe and the angel is just kind of standing. It's funny because what I'm seeing is like this angel or this agent of, on, that's, on, that's representing the universe is kind of standing there in front of you watching you do this, trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> like, <laughs> is trying so hard to keep a straight face <laughs> and not just bust out in laughter. But, but, okay, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk, and I'm so sorry, if you're going through a really strong emotion, like a really rough emotional situation, I'm really not trying to laugh at you. It's just, it's, I'm trying, I'm also like, I'm kind of trying to make light of the situation because this does feel a little bit heavy, but from, the, from a universal point of view, the way that humans sometimes react to situations that they know they need to go through that they've kind of basically set up for themselves when the ego gets involved sometimes it's just straight up comical you know what i mean because they're so people can sometimes get so wrapped up in their egos and you know um reality consciousness that they completely forget about um non-physical reality and, and the multidimensionality of their being and the fact that they are basically God, a piece of God in a living body, you know, with manifestation abilities. You know what I mean? Um, and they've also kind of planned all of this before they even incarnated, you know what I mean? So sometimes when, when we reject the own plan, the very plan we wrote for ourselves, sometimes the universe, all the universe can do is just sit back and laugh. But I'm not really, I'm really not trying to laugh at anybody, okay? We're just trying to make light of the situation here. But let's get into this. Let's, let's clarify this Three of Swords, Five of Cups energy here. Please, spirit. Woo! Okay. I told y'all, I'm gonna, actually, I'm just gonna stop right there. <clears throat> Underneath the deck, yeah, is death. There is a transformation happening, guys. All right, there's definitely a transformation happening for you here. You're guarded, you're battered and bruised. A lot of this defensive energy is like, good God, what is coming next? Because you've probably been through the ringer here, okay? I totally understand that. And look, ooh, there's more that came out. Okay, well, the star came out. That was the first one of the first things I noticed. This is, number one, healing, but I'm hearing a preordained energy. This is something that you've decided to willingly go through so that you can heal and change and transform. Eight of Wands, swift movement here. But underneath the star, you do have the Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and Justice. In order for you to achieve this victory, in order for you to set the level, the balance, the scales set the record straight in order for you to receive some sort of justice you've got to let go you have to there is no reason to stay in this energy is literally what the universe just said there's no reason to stay here you've you've learned the lessons You've learned the lessons. For some of you, you sought guidance in the correct places, but now it's almost like you might be refusing. Maybe some of you, this might be for a very, very small amount of you, but some of you might be refusing to accept the guidance that you've received in, in how to proceed with this situation. Okay. Wow, that was, okay, <laughs> there's that. Um, so now let's talk about 
the, the leap of faith and the sun. Reassurance here. So we're talking about this, the, the fool in reverse and the sun in reverse spirit. Let's just get some clarity on that, please. Mm. Wowie, wow, wow. All right, the first card that flipped over is the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. And oh, damn, underneath the deck is the Tower. Shit, y'all. Yeah, for some of you, this was just an imbalanced situation. And what the universe is guiding you towards, what the universe is guiding you towards and uh, is, a, is a, a reciprocal situation. Also, what the universe is protecting you from is protecting you from being involved in a non-reciprocal situation as well with the borders that are represented here on the sun card. This is for your own good. This is literally your mother saying to you, are you crazy? You are not going out there with those kids to do that. Let me, hold on, what's little Jimmy's number? Let me call his mother, see how he feels, how she feels about this. No, mom, please don't do that. Uh-uh, too late. Give me that phone. <laughs> Good God. The tower has been struck. And for some of you, this is a situation in which this whole organization or this whole group is going to start crumbling piece by piece. It may not happen quickly. It may take some time, but, and I really don't even feel like you're gonna have anything to do with it. It's just something, something is starting to be revealed here. Something's starting to be revealed. For some of you, this is really just an individual situation in which your eyes were opened to something. Okay. Mm. Wow. That is really interesting, you guys. But otherwise, this is, this is change for the better, guys. I promise you, this is change for the better. But there is definitely something that you got to let go of in order for you to achieve some sort of victory, in order for justice to be served here. Like if you've been wronged in some way, you holding on to this is only keeping that injustice flowing in your life. It's only continuing to help you stay in that Five of Pentacles energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. You have got to let go. Okay, so with that said, now, I'm going to close the reading with some oracle guidance for you guys. Um, and I do want to say, for and I know some of you may have seen the post that I made on the community tab of my channel. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. Um, I did post the healing element to <clears throat> the card meanings for the Crystal Mandala deck because it was requested. Um, I just want to say I'm not going to do that all that often. I don't really go too deep with the Crystal Mandala deck for the general readings, number one, for the sake of time, but also because I do like to keep that for people that order a personal reading, okay? Um, now, with that said, if you would like to, I would recommend, especially if you resonate with this deck, I would recommend purchasing this deck. And then, you know, whenever comes out during the reading, if you want to go a little deeper, if you want to read more about the card, then you have that deck with you right then and there. You can start working with it yourself. It's just so, so moving forward, I just want to say, um, it's not, I'm not going to make it a regular thing to get too deep into the definitions from this deck for the general readings, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. All right, guys, so let's get your closing oracle guidance here. Last shuffle. For the collective for Wednesday, July 31st. There it is. Okay, you have card number seven, Angel Kaliel and Polychrome Jasper, Sacred Play. Ooh. Here we go. We bring you the gift of sacred play. 
We enter your heart, bringing joy and an ability to have fun, to laugh, to see the silly and playful side of life, and to be entertained by the wonderful spectacle of life. When you know how to look, you will see the joyful hand of the creator behind so many of the people, places, and things you see every day. You will begin to feel the creator's delight in creation, and you will feel laughter deep in your soul, a joyful connection with the universe as you realize that even in its strange and sometimes dark mysteries, life has a brightness and delight to it, a sense of humor, and a quirky, amusing, enjoyable beauty. We know there is great joy inside you and we will help you reconnect with that joy now so even your most arduous challenges will not diminish your capacity to feel the light of your spirit and take delight in your life. And that's so funny because that speaks directly to the fact that, that I wasn't trying to laugh at anybody. I was just making light of the situation and the way it was being presented to me was actually kind of comical. <laughs> like I was finding it a little funny. Even though if even if I even though if I were in that situation, I probably wouldn't think it were too funny at the time, but hey, you know, from the outside looking in, it's kind of funny. Anyway, <laughs> there you have it, guys. Um so I apologize for offending anybody by laughing, but I mean, if we can't laugh at ourselves, then what the hell can we laugh at? You know what I mean? We should be able to laugh at ourselves. Don't take things so seriously, guys. It's just life. <laughs> okay. Anyway, much love to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.